From contractors to do-it-yourself enthusiasts, there's more than just the big red and white sign at Ganahl Lumber Company. Hi, I'm Abby Grimion, your host of Common Sense. Today, we're going to be exploring what's behind the scenes and the sign of Ganahl Lumber Company in Torrance, California. We've been open five months and our sales are growing uh, month over month. Um, we're in this for the long haul. Currently we're at 91 employees and we, we believe that uh, we'll, we'll probably get up to somewhere in the neighborhood of 140 to 150 employees in the next few years. Tom Barclay is the general manager of Ganahl Lumberyard in Torrance who has enjoyed over a 30 year career with the company. And although the Torrance location of Ganahl Lumber is relatively new, its presence is hard to miss. We chose South Bay because we're an Orange County based company uh, with eight locations in Orange County. But uh, over half of our business is shipped into the LA marketplace. And uh, many times customers would come in in the early mornings in an Orange County location and tell us, I'm here to pick up as quickly as I can and get on the freeway and get up into LA before the traffic gets heavy. I wish you guys had a yard in, in LA or closer to where I'm working. So we chose the South Bay as a way to get closer to our existing customers. We were looking for rail because rail helps us bring lumber in at the lowest landed cost. We like the fact that we're located in an industrial area because we do run two shifts and we will be running three. And uh, so we don't have to be concerned with uh, a neighbor who's uh, unhappy with the noise that we're generating through the night. A company focused on family tradition opened six days a week from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. But business is far from restricted from business hours. Usually we're in the building by about 5.15 in the morning and uh, we open the gates at 6 and often there's customers lined up out front waiting to get in. The store closes at 6 but we have a shift that runs from 2.30 to 11 and they're building delivery packages and restocking the floor for the next day. Ganahl Lumber is not your normal big box store, and the proof is in their business practices. Committed to Southern California, they saw the South Bay as an ideal market with small lumber yards, lots of old housing stock, and good land values. Ganahl Lumber opens their lumber yard within seven miles of six big box stores, and their target business of contractors brings in a potential of $1 billion. We do about 70% of our business with the contractor, and that contractor can be anywhere from a developer who builds a single custom home. It could be the framer who frames that home. About 15% of our business is industrial. So that's somebody who uses our product in their product or they, they use us to maintain their facilities. And the other 10% is homeowners who come in and they'll use us anything from picking up a garden hose to uh, serious projects. Ganahl Lumber's history dates back to the Gold Rush and the Orange Rush. The building rush to get lumber from the north to help build SoCal came next, and brothers Christian and Franz Joseph Ganahl opened the first lumber yard near present-day Union Station in Los Angeles. Christian Ganahl opened a nearby branch in 1887 based on his idea of branch locations, which he called the branch theory. The theory worked, and soon there were more. It was really the Lake Arrowhead yard that carried the company through the Depression era because the only building going on and the people with money was the entertainment industry. A getaway was Lake Arrowhead, and so there was a little bit of a building boom at that time, and that's what carried the company through the Depression. The branch theory of store management and expansion is still practiced today by Ganahl Lumber. We still have the branch theory today. We're up to uh, 10 branches today. Family is at the core of Ganahl Lumber Company. Ganahl has been family owned since the day it began and it has been passed on from generation to generation. Today, Peter Ganahl's two sons, Pete and Mark, are also in the business. There are fifth and sixth generation Ganahl Lumber family members working in the business today. And treating their employees like family is one of the reasons why retention rates are so high. All of the employees have some share in the company through our employee stock ownership plan and we also share in the company's results. Everybody who has been with the company for a minimum of a year shares in an annual bonus plan. And that annual bonus plan is a results-driven plan. It's uh, based on the results of the company 
the employee earns a portion of his income at the year end that he gets a piece of the results. In addition to uh, hourly pay or salary pay or in some cases 100% uh, commission, there are monthly incentives for hourly employees where the employee can earn an additional uh, incentive based on their productivity. Don't make that cut just yet. When we come back, we take a tour of Ganal Lumber and find out what a day in a lumber yard is really like. But first, trivia. Approximately how tall is the largest redwood tree? That and more when we come back. common sense. So, the answer to our trivia question, how tall is the tallest redwood tree? The tallest redwood tree is 369 feet, more than 2,000 years old, and has a circumference of 26 feet. Ganal Lumber sells the largest selection of redwood and specialty wood nationwide. So, what's it like to work in a lumber yard? Advantages include wearing shorts in the summer, competitive compensation, and the ability for employees to become vested in the company. Ganal Lumber strives not to be your typical lumber yard. It costs more to build the lumber yard, but it's cleaner and will last longer than the rest of the competition. The building itself shows up all the materials that Ganal Lumber sells. We worked with a local architect here, uh, with E. Malcolm, and uh, he helped us with the design. And we took the things that we knew worked in uh, Anaheim that we designed in 77 and we made sure we incorporated them here. We made some incremental changes and the things that worked well, rooftop parking is one of them, so we duplicated rooftop parking here. Another unique aspect of Ganell Lumberyard is the ability to pre-order and pick up orders at the will call in the back of the store. When we laid this yard out, we laid out a will call department and we promote a 90 minute uh, or less pre-pull program. So a contractor can call an order in ahead of time or email or text and in 90 minutes or less we'll have it pulled, banded, labeled with his name on it so he can pull into the facility, go directly back to the will call area and there'll be somebody there with the paperwork ready to load them and able to get them in and out as quickly as we can. There has been a lot of growth and products added to Ganal Lumber since the decision to add plywood in the early 1900s, including tools and reclaimed lumber from historic buildings. In fact, reclaimed wood is a major part of the exterior of Ganal Lumber. The exterior lumber yard is faced with reclaimed wood from one of the oldest mills in Ohio, along with its iconic saw proudly displayed in the front of its massive 17-acre campus. And because Ganal Lumber has saws on site, much like its logo, it's possible to get custom orders manufactured on site. We have the widest selection of products of, of any lumber company in California. We have a full line of framing lumber on the ground here. We have a full line of engineered wood products on the ground, which is unusual. Very few lumber companies have that. We have a complete uh, paint, plumbing, electrical, power tools, so a hardware store. We have uh, finished lumber, everything from moldings uh, to trim to hardwoods, uh, oak, mahogany, ash, um, poplar, cherry, teak, a full range. Ganal Lumber also has a specialty window and door showroom, which allows customers to custom design a door on site and see what it would look like before it's ordered. We have full milling capabilities. You can bring an old door into us and, and we can sell you a new door and cut the lock set and the hinges and prep the door so you can take it home and put it right back into the existing opening. We do a lot of uh, 
custom siding runs, molding runs. We do a lot of corbels and a lot of patio lumber trim. Lighting is also sold at Ganal Lumber, truly making it a one-stop shop for the pro and novice alike. I think our product mix is directed towards the contractor, the mm -hmm. professional builder. And there are homeowner customers that appreciate uh, the contractor quality products or appreciates being able to buy where the contractor buys. Okay. And uh, so I think what influences that mostly is our product mix. The fact that we, we don't carry plants and we don't carry uh, flooring or um, cabinets, appliances and those kinds of things. Part of getting customers in and out of here quickly uh, is separating the customer portion of the yard and what we call back a house, the receiving function, the delivery function, the rail car unloading. We separate that. So it is an 18 acre site. About seven and a half acres of it is dedicated to the customer and the circulation patterns are set up so that they can get in and out quickly and they don't have to mix with any of that back of house traffic. Don't touch that dial. More common sense is on the way. Here's more trivia. What airplane is one of the most famous early examples of engineered wood? That and more when we come back. Welcome back to Common Sense. So, the answer to our trivia question. What airplane is the most famous early example of engineered wood? The Spruce Goose. The Spruce Goose was a giant cargo plane Howard Hughes developed during World War II. It was made of a plywood-like material called Duramold that proved to be lighter and stronger than aluminum. Ganel Lumber Company added plywood like what was used to make the Spruce Goose early in its history of their business. Giving back is part of what makes Ganal Lumber a great place to work. Ganal works with a lot of organizations. I, th I think uh, the way I like to hear it said is, we don't give a lot of money to any one organization, but we give a lot of money to a lot of little organizations. And we, we work all the way down to the Boy Scout who's working on his Eagle Scout project. It's probably one of the most frequent requests we get. In all the locations, I'll bet you it's more than once a day. We have a, uh, an Eagle Scout somebody who's working on Eagle Scout come in and ask for a, a donation towards a project that they're working on. Ganal Lumber supports many local organizations, shelters, ecological projects, and every branch location has a local charity that they support. Giving back to the community is just another reason why Ganal Lumber believes in the importance of shopping small. They want to shop with, with people they know. Uh, most of us will want to do business with people we, we like. And, uh, and I think our customers are looking for somebody who can help them uh, build a better project or be more efficient or make just a little bit more money. The day we came to Ganal Lumber, we saw workers cutting wood for school projects for Torrance Unified Schools. The heart of Ganal Lumber is truly local and it shows in how they run their corporate office. With 750 employees, local control is so important and their corporate office is more sensitive to local markets. We're really excited about being in the South Bay market because for a long time our customers have told us I wish you had something closer to where we work and we're excited about this particular facility because from this facility we not only get to serve our customers in this marketplace but it's large enough that we get to serve a lot of new customers and we've seen a lot of new faces in here since we've been here and we've enjoyed getting to know some new customers. It's large enough that it can help support future facilities as well. And being local to South Bay also has Ganal hosting an upcoming award ceremony specific to Torrance. We're excited about uh, hosting the Torrance Advantage Awards here in the spring. One thing's for sure, Ganal Lumber is here to stay in Torrance. We're really excited about being in the South Bay market. So it's a big move for Ganal Lumber. Thank you so much to Ganal Lumber Company for welcoming the Common Sense production team to the lumber yard. Whether you're a contractor building a house or if you're a homeowner who wants to do it yourself, you can head over to Ganal Lumber Company at 2600 Delama Boulevard or head to the website www.ganallumber.com.
And while you're online, head over to our Facebook page, Common Sense Torrance, to see what happens behind the scenes. And hey, why not give us a thumbs up too? And to see more Common Sense episodes, please subscribe to our YouTube page at Torrance City Cable. So whether you're a woodworking pro, a novice, or somewhere in between, I'd like to thank you for watching Common Sense, where we take a rare, behind-the-scenes look at local business and explore their secret success. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.